In this question, we are looking at something which is only slightly different from question number four. So this time, once again, we are saying list the first name, last name and height of students who weigh less than 185 pounds. Okay. So the first thing to notice here is that we are only talking about students. So the table of interest is only students, no other table. Secondly, we are saying that we want the values of only specific columns, not all columns. So we are going to have to list out the columns rather than just say star. Okay, so we can easily start off our query like this. Select first name, last name, height. That's all we are looking for. And notice that the column names are separated by commas. You can't just say first name, space, last name, space, height. Okay, that may make sense to us, but it doesn't make sense to the entity that is processing the SQL. SQL is a specific language. It's a language that has certain rules, right? Unless you follow those rules, the computer won't be able to make sense of what you're trying to say. Okay? A human sense, even if you leave out the commas. Okay? But an SQL processor in a computer is a very limited intelligence. It can't make all kinds of big inferences. Okay? So you have to follow its rules. So if you leave out the comma, it'll say, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so you may say it's dumb. Well, that's what it is. Okay, so we say select first name, last name, height from students. This time the condition, right? After all, we are, not, we are saying, don't give me all the details of the students. Don't give me the details for all of the students. I want only details for students who weigh less than 185 pounds. If a student weighs 185 pounds or more, leave that student out. Don't give me information about that student. In this query, I'm not interested in that. Okay, so we are going to simply put that condition down. We are saying where weight less than 185. As simple as that. Okay, now the important point to notice here is how it differs from question number four. In question number four, the value we were looking for we put it within quotes. That is because the, we are looking for values, we were looking for values which are stored in a character column. First name was a character column. Whenever you're talking about values inside a character column, you put quotes. But when you're talking about values which are inside a numeric column, you don't put quotes. You should not put quotes. Right? It's not that quotes are optional quotes would be incorrect. You should not put quotes when you're talking about values inside a, a numeric column. So this weight being a numeric column, we just put the value, we didn't put the quotes. Okay. Now sometimes SQL processors are intelligent enough that if you put quotes, then it will say, okay, this person has put quotes, but this is a numeric column. So let me take that value that they put into quotes and convert it into a number and do the work. So sometimes you'll see that even though you put quotes, it works correctly. Okay. But technically, it shows a misunderstanding when you put quotes. Okay. You must understand the difference between quotes and not putting quotes. Even if the computer is able to sort of, uh, you know, overlook your mistakes, you should concept, your concepts should be clear. Okay. So that's all about question number five.